everybody. It's, I don't know, what is it, Thursday? Oh, Thursday, um, September 17th. One of my bags flew out earlier. I didn't see this. Came out here a little earlier and burned a couple things, and one of my bags fell out, and I didn't notice it. So anyway, uh, September 17th. I'm actually done eating for the day. I just finished my dinner. So uh, let me go ahead and show you now everything I've had to eat. For breakfast this morning, I'm having uh, some avocado toast. This is two slices of the Sara Lee 45 calorie bread for two points. I have 28 grams of avocado on that for one point. So three points in my toast. Of course, two points in my uh, coffee. This is my second cup. I've got uh, a total of four tablespoons of fat-free half and half. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, this is 227 grams of my homemade yogurt, uh, which is zero points on the blue plan. Uh, my banana, it's 131 grams, also zero points. 97 grams of blueberries, also zero points. So um, I have a five point breakfast this morning. All right, my lunch today, I've got a couple turkey patties here. Um, this is the 99% lean, so it's zero points on Blue Plan. Uh, 146 grams. I have uh, one ounce of my homemade potato chips for one point. And, uh, of course, my veggies are zero points. So I have a one-point lunch today. Okay, I'm just having a little snack before dinner. Yesterday at the farmer's market, I picked up a couple of cantaloupes. So I'm just having some cantaloupe and a cheese stick. So the cheese stick is the Frigo Light. One point. My cantaloupe is zero. Yesterday at the farmer's market, I bought a spaghetti squash. And I bought a butternut squash. And then I saw this. Isn't that the cutest thing? It's a it's called a honey nut squash. It's like a mini butternut squash. And I'm gonna bake this up for dinner tonight. I'm gonna have it with some chicken. But I'm going to bake this. Now, the guy that I buy my stuff from said that I'm going to be hooked the minute I try it. He said, you'll be back for more of these. It's supposed to be sweeter than a butternut. And I found some cooking directions uh, online that I'm going to roast it. So, I'll show this to you after I'm done. But I just thought this was the cutest thing. Look, it's like a little baby nut or butternut squash. <laughs> and it's called a honey nut. I'll be back. All right, I'm heating my oven up to 425 cut it open, took the seeds out. The recipe said to put uh, a little bit of butter in the cavity, sprinkle it with salt and pepper and some cinnamon, which I did, so it already smells amazing. I'm waiting for my oven to preheat, and then I will stick this in the oven and cook it for about a half an hour, and then we're gonna see how this stuff tastes. I just think it's adorable. Okay, for dinner, I just decided to have that honey nut squash on top of some spaghetti noodles. This is the Barilla whole wheat angel hair spaghetti. Um, I hadn't had very many points today, so I measured out three ounces dry, uh, which came out to seven points. I do have one point of butter in with that squash, so I have an eight point dinner. All right, I came out to get Molly to go, go outside. Um, anyway, I had 15 points today. Oh my gosh, that honey nut squash that I had. Oh definitely gonna go back and get more of those because it was so good a lot sweeter than a butternut um it was good that was a good dinner I didn't know what to have with it I didn't really want to get a chicken I hadn't taken anything out of the freezer so that's why I decided to have the pasta with it um as I remembered I really like the ravioli that has the butternut squash in it and that was just as good if not better so, I've been dehydrating onions today. These onions that I got from the farmer's market yesterday are so big. It only took three of them to fill all nine trays of my dehydrator. I've got it sitting outside, hooked up. I'm going to let it go all night. It's not, it's not supposed to rain, so I think I should be okay. But, good day on plan. I've been kind of busy today, straightening my kitchen. Uh, my niece is coming over tomorrow. We're going to start doing caramel apples, so 
tomorrow I'm going to go to the orchard and get some apples. She's coming over after school. And, uh, it's just starting to get ready for fall. And, uh, enjoying this cooler weather. It's actually, <laughs> this morning it was downright cold. And it's supposed to be cold again tonight. I mean, cold. We're just talking about high 40s. Colder than what it's usually, what it usually is this time of year anyway. Did you go potty? Did you go poo poo? Yeah, she did. She was kind of bugging me. So I knew she had to go. <laughs> she doesn't actually go to the door and ask out. She just comes and sits in front of me and stares and follows me into the bathroom. It's like, well, you're going, so it's my turn to go. So anyway, I got my living room all turned around, or straightened around, and um, got my kitchen cleaned. Only room I need to, well, I still need to do my bedroom. But that's a very long project. I mean, I might start on it tonight. I might not. So I went to use my vacuum cleaner last night, and it's gone. I have located it at my son's place so um he's gonna bring it back this weekend but I told him you know I'm trying to get ready for the holidays and I want to sweep my floor and you're not helping all right let's look oh yeah they're starting to they're starting to dry up all right okay well I'll be right back.